Ah, uh, well, I I want to comment on uh, we people who are called either elites or scholars. I've waited for quite some time now to see whether the so-called scholars will make their comments on this document called BBI. Why did we go to school in the first place? Why are we being called scholars? And what is our role in the society as scholars? I would wish to categorically state that we have failed Kenyans as scholars. Because scholars don't come from the moon. Scholars don't come from planet. Scholars don't come from uh, uh, Jupiter. They come among us. They live among us as citizens. Why aren't they coming out to categorically state their position on matters BBI? Why are they silent? Aren't these recommendations being made uh, not going to affect their livelihoods as well? Why are they silent? I'm challenging all the scholars in the Republic of Kenya to come out. And of course, give the input. I tend to think as things are at the moment, the president took a bit of time and listened to the views of people out there. And that is why maybe this document has not been officially gazetted. So where are the scholars? What is it that you'd like to see included in this particular document? Sometimes we make ourselves very busy, sometimes doing nothing, and we purport that we do not even have time to go and give our views, which is not right. This document does may not necessarily affect you because either you are elderly or maybe you are advanced in age. But the fact of the matter is that you have got your own daughters and sons. It is therefore in your interest to ensure that you give your input in this particular document called BBI. What is your position? What is your take on matters education? What is your take on matters health? What is your take on matters environment? What is your take on matters uh, family issues? What is your take on matters uh, the Vision 2030? Why aren't we giving out our views? We are just keeping quiet like other ordinary Kenyans who may not be as privileged as we are. I'm challenging all the scholars out there. Come out of your cocoons and give your contributions. It is not right, it is not fair to maintain a studio silence and when issues go out of the way, we start accusing uh, the government of the day, we start accusing our leaders. What is your role? What is your input in this particular document? What have you contributed? What are you saying about it? Yes, I have read it personally, but the question is, like now I happen to be uh, a member of nearly PhD scholars forum. I haven't had any comments coming from that particular uh, forum. The only thing that I've been seeing are comments being made by other individuals where forwards has become the order of the day. This is not where we went to, this is not where we went to school. I want us to actually be changed our way of adoring things. We must take a paradigm shift. We must give our input. We may be scholars, yes, but this scholarly life will not go to help people uh, ages in heaven. This is the time where our input is required. So I challenge all of you scholars come out in the open. We cannot actually give this document to our individuals and we assume they are representing our views and our thinking. That is not right. We need to come out and give our input. Maybe if we gave our voice, things would have been different. But now I haven't had any, I haven't had scholars from Nyanza. I haven't had scholars from Lefty Valley. I haven't had scholars from Nyeri or Central Province for that matter. I haven't had scholars commenting about the document from Eastern or, or Northeastern. This is not right. Scholars, anybody who has gone to school, anybody who understands, we are all affected by this particular document. We have children, we have our brothers and sisters, we have our parents, we have everybody in our family. Why aren't we coming out to this particular forum and give our contributions? I challenge all the scholars in the Republic of Kenya, kindly don't take a back seat. We need your input. You understand things much better than any other individual in the Republic of Kenya. Why are we behaving indifferently? Why must we be? Why are we being dictated terms? Why are we being given, being spoon-fed information as if we can't be able to get the information, internalize, analyze, do the situation analysis, sensitivity analysis, do at the pros and cons of this particular document, and we give this particular information? I have been talking about bad governance. If you don't complain about your MP, don't complain about your governor, don't complain about your senator, don't complain about your women lab or your woman lab. Why? You were there when the elections were being conducted. But maybe you, are, you made yourself so busy. Yet the decisions that are being made by these leaders affect you directly. Let us get out of the cocoon and face the reality as it is. We must give our contribution. And I'm challenging all the scholars in the Republic of Kenya. Time has come for us to get out of our cocoons. It's, it's a shame. We haven't given our input. I have, I have actually uh, traversed this Republic of Kenya, and my, more often than not, I only hear people complaining from uh, the comfort of their regions. That is not light. We need to be heard in the limelight. We need to be heard at the national level. Why can't we come up, come out together as scholars and we give our contributions? Why are we waiting for our mothers and our fathers to make those decisions for us? 
Why are we entrusting the information that will directly affect our lives into some few individuals? Why haven't we given our voice? Why should we behave like those other people out there, the majority maybe who are not privileged like we are in terms of information? Ah, no, this thing, we have to change the situation. I look forward to us people giving our contributions. God bless.